And we are going to be doing a liner tutorial. <clears throat> if I sound different, it's because reasons. Anyways, I have a tablet now, so I can finally do this wonderfully wonderful program. Just a mistist. Just a Just a Just a Just a Just a Just 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 a 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 Anyways, um, a few tips and tricks. Don't always put your line art solid black. Put it somewhere like a dark grayish. It makes it more interesting for some reason. I don't know what that reason being. I don't know. It just does. Oh my god. Magical, isn't it? So yeah. Another tip and trick is if you just click this, it goes back to its default settings for line art. Um, I'm just going to teach y'all everything I know about um, this program, which might, might not be a lot. It might be a bajillion things. We just don't know. So yeah. Um, what I have noticed about the tablet is that it can be very responsive slash sensitive. So you have to be really careful not to offend it. I mean, go over the pressure limit. Because some people just can't handle the pressure. Um, I am using an indie brand. I don't know if it's indie or not. A Turcom tablet. And it is pretty good. It's pretty cool. Cool. Okay. I'm using it a lot. I know I'll be using it a lot. I don't even know how I survived with a mouse. Like, of all things, a mouse. Oh, the I oh the indescribable anguish. <gasps> Anyways, um, yeah. So what? I always tend to turn off your sketch, and if something looks weird, well, fucking, I don't know. I'll just, just erase it. Um, the eraser is determined by size, by pressure, as is the brush that I'm using. Um, the wider I go, the less visible the stroke is, and the heavier I go, the more visible the stroke is. So yeah, that's how that works. And saving and beach ball of death, and oh my god, it's so annoying. Um, but yeah. One thing that you should know is you can, <gasps> spoiler alert, Alter your line art. Holy mother of God! I did. I didn't know that. So yeah, alternate the thickness, and if you see anything wrong with it, um, quote unquote wrong with your line art, you could fix it. Um, if, like if there's some sort of anatomical flaw, it's not stuck like that. That's what I actually really enjoy about the line art phase of the work. Because you don't have to really worry about it as much as you would if it was actually some sort of, like, say, coloring. Because on Fire Alpaca, you can't do color balance, which is a stupid idea. Uh, I mean, it's free, so... Bingo, bango, bongo! I'm not ready to pirate yet! Like, I'm just not old enough. Thug life, yo. So yeah, this tutorial is pretty short. Um, how long is this in thing I'm running? Uh, four minutes. And if you, if I forgot anything... Oh, oh yeah, alright. The correction is really useful here. As you can see, I have it lower than I normally do, but I just realized that I really don't like high correction all that much. Unless I'm doing some really long and complicated line. Like... Other than that, though... Yeah. Correction is really what you make of it. I mean, high correction doesn't always equal high quality. Line work, says the amateur artist. Bitter about not having too many Tumblr followers. But my point still stands, kind of, on a shaky foundation that's about to crumble to the ground. I love myself. Can you tell that yet? 
Anyways, if I missed anything or if you were confused on any of my um, things, thingamabobbers, tutorials, just leave a comment in the section below, comment section below, and I shall get back to you on that, and I will respond as promptly as I can. See you. KK, bye.